not familiar with Harry Winston. Harry Winston is the uh, he is the the gentleman that all collectors, all people in the jewelry industry looked up to. He started in 1928 and became one of the finest, one of the the most um, uh, famous of all diamond, all jewelry uh, designers in the world. Matter of fact, uh, a lot of people don't know this. He did not allow a photo of his face to be featured in any magazine. And there's, I think there's very little, very few photos of him in his younger days. Because he was very secretive. He didn't want people to know what he did. Uh, there was a famous picture of him in his office. And it, it's kind of funny because it's a picture of him in his office, but it's a picture of his backside. So you don't ever see his face in it. And he's looking out the window. He's looking out his window. And um, that was about the only one you ever saw of him. He was a very, very secretive man. Because, you know, think about it. You got these collector, you know, uh, gemstones. You know, he, like I said, he owned the Hope Diamond. Owned the Hope Diamond. And he gifted it to the Smithsonian. <laughs> so think about it. You know, here's a man that literally owned one, if, one of, if not the most famous diamond in the world, and he gave it to the Smithsonian. That, to me, I mean, that, that speaks volumes about what he meant to this industry. We are asking on this $29,000. I will tell you, folks, in a retail store, if you walk into Harry Winston right now, you will spend over $40,000 for that necklace. Thank you for watching this video. And give us a thumbs up. Share it with your friends so they can enjoy the video with you and in the future. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel for new programs coming up weekly. And watch us on live television 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for the most exciting experience in jewelry with the most exquisite jewelry you've ever seen.